Okay, in this video I'm going to show you two ways to construct a histogram. The first way is when you're given data like this. It's a summary. So what I mean by summary is it already has the classes created for you. It already has the frequencies. That's a summary of the data. You don't have to find the frequencies. So if you're given that, open it up in StatCrunch. Now we're interested in the relative frequencies. That's what this problem said here. Find the relative frequencies. But later in the problem it wants histograms. Okay, So we're going to do a histogram here for this data. I don't go to graphics and go to histogram. This will not work for a summary. Okay, If you have raw data, then it will work. And that's the second half of this video. What we need to do is graphics and bar plot and then with summary. We select our tuition for our categories, number of years, click next. Now I wanted to find the relative frequencies, so I go to relative frequency, worksheet by or order by worksheet, and then display the values above the bars. Click next, next and graph. Now look at I have a bar plot. And if I zoom up, I can see my relative frequencies on top of these bars. And let's check one. This is, uh, you can't see the first bar. See how small the first bar is? So the second bar is 0.081. If I go back to check, 0 0.081, 0 0.081. Okay? So these are the relative frequencies. This is going to be our relative frequency histogram as well. It is not a histogram, though, but we're going to use it as one. The only difference between a bar plot and a histogram is that these spaces here are removed. Okay, these spaces are removed. So let's go look at part C of this problem. I'm skipping part B, I'm going to part C. I'm going to zoom this up, this is the answer, and I'll show you. This is a histogram, and this is a bar plot. But because the summary is given for us, StatCrunch doesn't give me a way to make this histogram with the summary. So we have to use this, and we have to match that up. So we look at the you know the charts, see where, where they are. We have to match up you know point two. Yep, it's almost a point two to match this up to to make sure it is the right histogram. But this would be a histogram if these spaces were removed. In the part B of this problem, it asks for a frequency histogram. Well, I can get that same thing with this. I just go in and edit my data and go back to the point where it asked me if I wanted a type frequency. Then I click create the graph, and now it gives me my frequency, and that's this one right here. Again, this is a histogram of the frequency. This is a bar plot, but we, we do this so that we can actually make StatCrunch. We're kind of fooling StatCrunch into creating our histogram. We're viewing this as a histogram and matching it up. Okay, So that's how you create a histogram when you have a summary of the data like this. Now the next problem, as you continue watching here, will be raw data and I have to actually find the frequency and then find the relative frequency to, cr to create a histogram and you do that in, in the graphics histogram area. So continue watching. Okay, here we're given raw data in StatCrunch, and these are just the numbers, and what they want us to do is create these classes. This homework problem's already been done. It's filled in here, and get these frequencies. So it says, construct a frequency distribution with the first class having the lower class limit of zero, so we have to type in zero with a class width of 0 0.50. So remember, the class width goes from the lower to the lower. Okay, and here's our data, and we're supposed to tally this information. So there are, are four values that are between 0 and 4, 0 0.49 in here. Well, how we do that is we just open it up in StatCrunch. So we are given no frequencies. We are just given the data here, and this is tax data, I believe. So I'm just going to label this as tax. Okay, and now we have to find the frequencies and relative frequencies of this data. So when we're given just the data like this, not any um, classes or anything already done for us or frequencies, we can go in here and use histogram. Graphics, histogram. Okay, then we select the values, the tax, next, 
And then what type of graph do we want? A frequency histogram? Sure, let's leave it on that. Display the values above the bar. And then what bins do we want to start at? Remember it said start at zero. Bins means the lower class, the first starting class point, and the bin width is the same as the class width. And the class width, remember, back here, went from 0 0.50. So one half, so 0 0.50. Click Next. Overlay density, we can keep that. We can keep those things and create the graph. So this would be representative of the histogram for the frequencies. And I think there's a question on that here, so let's scroll down. Construct a frequency histogram of the data. Here's the correct answer. And here's our answer. You can see very much now that StatCrunch works perfectly, creates a histogram for us to view the data. We can only create this histogram with raw data. Now if we want to go to the next problem, I think it asks for the relative frequencies right below this. Well, I just take this information, I come back here and click Edit, and then get click back until I get to where I chose the type, and I choose relative frequency. Keep this box clicked, and then create the graph, and you'll see that the relative frequencies are shown above. Um, sometimes if they don't show three decimals, that means it's 0 .300, or you just have to expand the screen to see them all, just like last. And so then that would be the relative frequency histogram, and if we look here it says construct a relative frequency histogram. Here's the correct answer, and here's our answer here. Goes out to four. See, they don't even show the four to five being nothing. It's not, not here because there's none in there. Okay, so it's very quick and easy to create a histogram in StatCrunch when you're given the data. If you're not given the data, that's before this video where you have to go through a bar plot to create a look-alike histogram.